Hi, welcome to my closet. I'm going to give you a little tour. First, I have to let everyone know that we have in our master bedroom two closets. So I have not hogged this entire closet to myself. My husband actually has his own closet. But even with that, I have allowed him to, since we're musicians, we have maybe, oh my hair, different wardrobe needs. So um, I let him have all of his tuxes and I decided a while ago that I wanted to make a space in my closet that felt since I live with all boys I have three boys and my husband I wanted a space that was very girly and freely and relaxing someplace I could just go and hide out if I needed to and so I transferred my closet it did not look like this before the transformation. I'll try to find a picture before, but this is what it looks like now. So I do have my husband's tux stuff in that section. Over here, I have clothes and I've just kind of organized them by tanks, short sleeve shirts and long sleeve shirts. And then I've organized, these are kind of more like, like jackets and things that I might wear to maybe work out. Right here, I did have like a coffee machine. I have, I don't know what to do. So if you guys can let me know what you would do with this little space. I, it's like a great little space, so it can definitely have something. And I had an espresso machine and I liked it, but I didn't love it. I want, I miss the capability to have like just water for tea. So I took it back and so I'm debating and also I didn't know like would my clothes start smelling like coffee I didn't know so I want to do I have all the space I want to do something fun with okay so now I'm gonna show you the other side of my closet that is more of the closet so I have all of this and back here is all of my black clothes for performing okay and then I've done the Marie Kondo folding and organizing all my leggings shirts more stuff and then i actually even have more stuff up there the thing i love about my closet is it has a window so it feels a lot less closet like it's amazing what a window can do okay so up here i'm going to show you the the fancy stuff so yeah it's just kind of fun stuff and just wanted it to look pretty so then Da, 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 da. this I got this little bench and look at this cute rug I absolutely adore this rug it's again it's pink look at all the pink I have lots of pink white light grays oh and of course that gorgeous blue just to kind of I don't know um, and then I put it's hard to see but I put all of these twinkle lights I have lots of I have these curtains and then I have like twinkle lights with them. And so it just kind of frames it. And I wanted it to look a little less closet-like. So that's what I did with that. So then on the other side, so this whole middle section is my non-closet, more of my, and we call it my princess palace. Cute little table. I love that little table. I mix things around. I'll show you what that is in a second. Like that lamp sometimes I'll put on my table. So yes, that's the curtains and I have additional seating I'll sit down so I can right here and they're just a couple I love the furry this furry stuff is I love it it's just so soft and it just looks relaxing cozy so there's just a couple body pillows and then a couple just regular pillows oh there's my unicorn have to have a pink unicorn if you know me well you'll understand anyways I this is just a cup this more uh seating and I like it because we can, my boys actually come in here a lot, surprise, surprise, and we like cuddle in here and just snuggle and let's see if I can see. It's just so nice. Like we're just under here and it's actually really cozy, but I could actually move these too and like make them like two flat ones and like make it almost like a bed. Um, I'm just thinking slumber party things, slumber parties, you know. Never too old for that kind of stuff, right? Okay, so let me go back to this section. So this I put on this curtain rod so you can like pull them back all the way and it opens it up. And what I really like is my 
kids and I will come in here sometimes and sometimes we'll sit here on this little bench and on that windowsill we will put like my laptop and we'll watch shows and stuff or if especially if there's more than just like one of them in here um we'll go on this little section and we oh it's so cozy I'm so relaxed right now and then we will put my laptop doing this backwards there in that bench and it's a perfect height for that and then we get to just watch shows or movies or whatever it's fun okay back to this so have you ever built like a blanket fort when you were young you know with like blankets over furniture and you just kind of be in there as be a little fort little tent so this is like my grown up version of a, a blanket fort so you come in here and it's so cozy this bench thing is actually super cozy what i do is i close off this the curtains this those little sheer curtains so it still brings in a lot of light and i read in here it's just it's so nice it's like cozy and this bench is actually super comfortable and just like my you can put your feet there stretch them out whatever or just kind of snuggle up like that it's just it's really really cozy okay so if you thought that was it i also left these curtains long so you can do the same thing um, and you can bring these down let's see if i can show you on my little princess from Disneyland. You can bring those down and you get the same, and I can do that on that side too, and you get the same kind of a little effect, like a little blanket fort underneath there. So sometimes my kids will be on that side and I will be on this side. We're just hanging out, opening our curtains and talking to each other, closing them, reading, doing whatever. So that is that but I really do want some suggestions if you guys have any suggestions for this little space now that you've seen the rest of it you kind of know what I'm talking about it's like this is my hangout like you know I had coffee like can you imagine like I would never have to leave I don't know I don't know what I want to do with it something fun I might get a pink Keurig and I'm really open to suggestions. I want to do something fun. I'm just, I'm always like looking for stuff and getting things for the room and just like, what can I be doing with it? It's not a big space as you can see, but it's just big enough. Again, that window really helps, but I really love the twinkle lights. They just are so cheery. Like it's, it just makes me happy. It's my happy room. Okay. So I thought I'd show you guys what my closet looks like when I'm entering it because I know I kind of pieced it around but that way you can see the whole effect when I open it so we have this little pocket door and this is what it looks like when I go into it love it it's not very big just the right size which is why I like it yep so that's the full effect a couple of things too I don't I need to do something with the shoes do you see that like all that stuff that's all, well, it's not all my shoes. I actually have a whole other section where you can't see right there, which is shoe boxes with shoes in them. And I don't like it. I mean, I like to keep my shoes in shoe boxes because it just seems neat and organized. I just don't, now that I've done this room I like this, they don't look good like that. So I need some help with that. I don't know, like a shoe rack or something. I just don't want it to look messy. Oh, and also this is where I have my jeans. In case you're wondering, maybe you weren't wondering, but I. I have them like there and then there's more there too 
Yeah, somewhere in there. Obviously, I could put the jeans there, but I wanted to keep that all open to do something else with. And I have a couple of other reasons why I like to have my jeans there, but we can talk about that in another video. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>